Nightingale Hall. I'm glad you're here. Okay. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. Okay. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. <laughs> Breaking the Levitation Act. Tell about the Nightingales. Dallas, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Indirectly, the Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. Their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Tell me about Nocturnal. She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. I never met a thief that worshipped anything. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arms. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. Guild contract. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense. And sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. I have my skill. Not powers or magic? What? Uh, uh, uh. The fuck you fuck you Okay Again you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how